What does it mean to be truly great? A question that has echoed through the annals of time, whispered in the hallowed halls of ancient temples, debated in the bustling marketplaces of old, and contemplated in the solitary confines of a sage's hermitage. Greatness, a concept as old as civilization itself, has been perceived and defined through countless lenses. In the sun-drenched city-states of ancient Greece, Greatness was the hero's journey, a Homeric odyssey of trials and tribulations, a Herculean effort to overcome adversity and emerge victorious. It was Achilles on the battlefield, Odysseus on his voyage home. The Greeks valued bravery, resilience and strength, the hallmarks of their heroes, their embodiments of greatness. Yet, thousands of miles away, in the serene landscapes of the East, greatness was painted in softer, wiser hues. It was the calm amidst the storm, the tranquil wisdom of the Buddha beneath the Bodhi tree, the stoic acceptance of life's impermanence. Here, greatness was not in conquering the world, but in understanding it, not in overcoming others, but in mastering oneself. Meanwhile, across the vast oceans, in the sacred lands of many indigenous cultures, greatness was intimately tied to humility. A great person was one who served their community, who understood their place in the vast web of life and respected the delicate balances of nature. Greatness was not a solitary journey, but a communal experience, a shared responsibility. So we see that greatness is a tapestry woven with threads of diverse cultural narratives, each strand unique yet interconnected, each perspective enriching the other. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Our ability to face adversity and emerge stronger, wiser and more compassionate. But at its core, greatness transcends these cultural constructs. It is not a universal concept, but a deeply personal and subjective experience. It is the choices we make, the values we uphold and the struggles we overcome. It is the journey we embark on, not the destination we arrive at. Greatness, then, is not a universal concept, but a deeply personal and subjective experience. Can greatness be taught, or is it an innate quality? This question has sparked philosophical debates that have spanned centuries. On one side of the argument, we have the nature proponents. They argue that greatness is an inherent trait, a gift bestowed upon a select few at birth. Then there are those who side with nurture. They believe that greatness can be cultivated, that it's not only for the privileged or the prodigies, Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher, was one such advocate. He proposed that excellence or greatness isn't an act, but a habit. It's about doing the right things the right way, consistently over time. Contrarily, some philosophers contend that greatness is a blend of both nature and nurture. They argue that while some may be born with certain qualities, the environment and experiences play a significant role in shaping greatness. The philosophical debate continues, but one thing is clear. Greatness is not a matter of chance, but of choice. How does our psyche influence our potential for greatness? This question leads us into the fascinating realm of psychology, where we delve into the intricate mechanisms that govern our thoughts, behaviors, and feelings. The concept of self-actualization, as proposed by Abraham Maslow, offers a captivating insight into the psychological aspects of greatness. Self-actualization refers to the realization and fulfillment of our potential, and it's the highest level of psychological development and the expression of our unique capabilities. In other words, it's about becoming the greatest version of ourselves. But how do we reach this pinnacle? Well, the road to self-actualization and thereby to greatness is often paved with resilience and dedication. These are not innate traits, but skills that can be developed. Resilience is our ability to bounce back from adversity. It's about facing life's challenges head-on and using them as stepping stones towards our goals. Dedication, on the other hand, is the unwavering commitment to our pursuit, the fuel that keeps the fire of our ambitions burning. Now, let's talk about mindset. The role of mindset in achieving greatness cannot be overstated. Psychologist Carol Dweck's theory of mindset proposes two types, fixed and growth. A fixed mindset believes that our abilities are static, that they can't be changed. On the contrary, a growth mindset embraces challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. It believes that with effort, our abilities can be developed no matter the starting point. 
This mindset nurtures a love for learning and a resilience that is pivotal for great accomplishment. So you see, our journey to greatness is heavily influenced by our psychological makeup. It's about understanding our potential, cultivating resilience, fostering dedication and adopting a growth mindset. These elements intertwined lead us on a path towards self-actualization and ultimately to greatness. The mind is a powerful tool in our quest for greatness and harnessing its potential is essential. Our psyche is a fascinating universe within us, waiting to be explored and understood. And as we uncover its secrets, we unlock the doors to our own greatness. How can we apply these insights to our own lives? Let's delve into the practical approach. Greatness, my friends, is not a birthright, it's an achievement. It's a mountain peak that beckons us and reaching it requires clear direction. Therefore, the first step towards greatness is setting goals. Goals give our efforts a sense of purpose and direction. They serve as the compass leading us towards our personal Everest. Yet, having a direction is not enough. Just like a hiker needs tools to climb a mountain, we need knowledge to achieve our goals. This brings us to the next step, continuous learning. We must always be eager to learn, to improve, to expand our horizons. The more we learn, the more equipped we are to conquer our mountain. Finally, we must embrace challenges. Challenges are not roadblocks, they are stepping stones. Each challenge we overcome brings us a step closer to our peak. So don't be disheartened by the steep slopes. Instead, let them fuel your determination. Remember, greatness is not a destination, but a journey. It's not about being the best. It's about being better than you were yesterday. It's about pushing your limits, expanding your capabilities, and never settling for mediocrity. The journey to greatness is not easy, but with determination, hard work, and a positive mindset, it is within reach for all of us. So, let's start our climb today, shall we? So, what have we learned about greatness? We've delved into its enigma, viewed it from philosophical and psychological perspectives, and even tackled practical steps towards it. We've seen greatness as a complex construct, a blend of character, perseverance, and resilience. It's about making a difference, about leaving a mark. It's within reach, yet requires constant striving. Greatness is not a destination, but a journey. And remember, the pursuit of greatness is a pursuit of progress, not perfection.